Hi guys, happy homebrew Wednesday for Wednesday, January 29th, 2015. Tonight, I'm just going to have a commercial beer here. So this is my first video of uh, 2015. Um, I've been really, really busy. Um, since Christmas, we had the Christmas holiday, and then, uh, first of all, cheers, everyone. Like I said, uh, we had the Christmas holiday, and then just a few days after that was uh, Mrs. Orem Wine's uh, birthday. So we had to celebrate that, and then we had the New Year. And then after that, the next weekend was my son's birthday, so we did that. And uh, then the next weekend after that was a daughter's birthday and a granddaughter's birthday. So just been really busy every weekend since uh, the holiday. January is a really busy month for me with birthdays and Christmas and New Year's and all those things. So that's kind of why I haven't put a video out there. So here we are. We're uh, going to get back at it. And uh, this last weekend since my Seahawks didn't play. And yes, by the way, we're in the Super Bowl once again. Uh, NFC champions once again, so uh, hopefully we can win one more game Anyway, we did not have a, a football game this last weekend, so I went ahead and uh, and uh, Brewed up a batch of beer. Yes, my first batch of beer. So let me show you the footage from that Hi guys, so uh, I finally have got around to it my uh, first brew of uh, 2015 and as promised we're gonna do a beer for you guys so we're gonna do this real ale kit uh, we're gonna do the five and seven method uh, the way Bill showed me how to do it so we're gonna go ahead and get everything sanitized and uh, we've got all our ingredients here we got our beer kit we got corn sugar and we've got some sparkling amber uh, dry malt extract so let me get everything sanitized up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here we've got our bucket and everything we're going to need inside there sanitizing. And uh, meanwhile I got a pot of uh, about two quarts of water heating up on the stove. So once that gets uh, heated up, we'll get on to the next step. Okay, now we've got our water heated up. We'll go ahead and uh, pour that down into the bucket. Again, this is about a quart and a half, two quarts of water. And we'll let it cool off just a little bit so it's not steaming quite as much. Okay, and then once we get it poured out, we're going to go ahead and put another pan of water on the stove and start heating it up. And uh, also at this time, I'm going to go ahead and put a tea kettle of uh, water on the stove and start heating that up. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, take the top off of our Cooper's kit here. And then inside the top you get a packet of yeast and the instructions on how to make it. And as you can see the can is divoted on the top. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in our pan of water that we're heating up now upside down. And the purpose of this is because it's so thick that we want it to heat it up and thin it out so it'll come out of the can easier. So we'll let it sit in the in the warm water for about 20 minutes. So we'll let it sit in the hot water for about 20 minutes and uh, we'll let it heat up and do its thing. Okay now that our uh, water's not steaming quite as much in the bucket here we're gonna go ahead and uh, add a pound and a half of the corn sugar We'll add that down in there. And we'll go ahead and give that a stir. Get it dissolved up in there. And 
and then we're going to dump our bag of uh, dry malt extract in. We'll dump it all at once so nothing sticks inside. Then we'll stir that up real well. Let me get my other stir. I'll be right back. Okay, this should stir it up good. This also aerates the wort. Um, so this is good for the beer. And also we're dissolving up that dry malt extract and uh, the dextrose making sure there's no clumps left. So we'll stir it really good here. Okay, so we got it nice and stirred up. We're just uh, waiting for our liquid malt extract or our, uh, our beer kit to finish heating up. And then we'll go from there. The uh, next step that I'm going to do is not absolutely necessary with beer. But uh, since I make wine, I've got uh, yeast nutrient on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and add 5 teaspoons of yeast nutrient to the wort. The only reason I'm doing that is just because I have it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll stir it up again. Okay, now our can is uh, heated up. We'll go ahead and open that up. Got my sanitized can opener here. We're gonna go ahead and cut this, but we're not gonna cut it all the way around. Okay, now we got her open. We're gonna go ahead and uh, dump that down into our wart. As you can see, it's uh, pretty thick stuff. Let me grab a spatula here. Okay, and then we'll scrape as much of that out as we can. Get her down in there. And then uh, if you remember right, I've got a kettle of hot water on the stove. So we're going to go ahead and get that and pour some hot water in here to get the last bit out. So we'll take our hot water and we'll uh, pour it down in there. Stir that, get all the bits and stuff off of the side, off of the bottom. Want to try and get every last crumb of this. And then uh, once you got that done, just grab a hold of the can because it's going to be hot. Get a towel or some uh, or a hot pad or something. And then we're going to pour the hot water over the top of the lid and try and rinse all of that off. So we've got most of everything that's there. Then we'll go ahead and uh, give that a good stir. And then we're going to uh, top it up with uh, cool water to the five gallon mark. As you're filling it up, 
I'll get my thermometer out and check it. We want it to be at the end, we want it to be between 70 and 80 degrees. So just adjust your water temperature to that. We want it to be between 70 and 80 so we can pitch the yeast. Okay, so we're just under five gallons, so we're gonna go ahead and take the temperature here. Looks like we're just above 80 degrees here. So the last couple quarts of water will add cold water to get it into the temperature range we want it. Okay, so we'll dump the last couple quarts of cold water in there. We'll give it a stir, mix it all together here. And then we'll uh, take a temperature reading. Seventy nine degrees, so that's between seventy and eighty. That's uh good enough. Okay, beans that this is my first beer. We're gonna go ahead and take a hydrometer rating. I know a lot of you guys don't do that, but looks like we're at uh ten forty five. So and now we'll just pitch our yeast. Just going to go ahead and use the uh, Cooper's yeast that come with the kit and cut the top off with our sanitized scissors here and we'll just sprinkle that across the top. And there you have a look at it. There's our my first beer. Let's uh, cross our fingers and hope it turns out okay. Okay guys, last step. We're just going to go ahead and uh, put the airlock on here. And that's it. I've completed uh, the brew part of my first batch of beer. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Brewing with Bill. Uh, he was a big inspiration in this guy. Uh, thank you a lot. And uh, to everyone else that's been uh, trying to get me to brew beer, there you have it. I've uh, done my first one. Well, uh, do a tasting in a couple weeks when it's finished up or three weeks or whatever it takes and uh, I'll let you guys know how it turned out. Here we are uh, 48 hours later as you can see it's uh, really fermenting hard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up. Just wanted to show you guys what was going on. Okay guys there you have it. Uh, my first batch of beer is uh, officially on the go. As you can see, it's right over here on the table behind me. Um, just letting it uh, ferment away there. So uh, there'll be an update for that in just a few weeks. Uh, we'll probably bottle it up in, oh, another 10 days or so. And uh, then we'll let it carb up. And we'll do a taste test. So other than that, I don't have much on the brewing front. Like I said, I've been uh, really busy over the last month. But uh, I'm back at it now. I uh, did go to the store last weekend and bought a whole bunch of sugar. They had sugar on sale. So uh, I've got that going. Uh, I got a few breweries lined up. Um, so look for those videos coming out soon. Um, I am having a Super Bowl party once again. So I'm sure I'll take some uh, footage of that and uh, post that up so you guys can see what I'm doing this year for the Super Bowl. Um, also, last weekend uh, I joined uh, Bring with Bill's uh, a chat room. Uh, talked to a bunch of great guys. Uh, cheers to all you guys. I'd like to give a shout out to Larry at uh, Trinity's Homemade Wine. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, go check out his channel. Uh, he has some great brewing videos. Uh, just an all around great guy. I got to talk with him a little bit last weekend on the chat. and. Uh, really enjoyed it so uh, cheers to you Larry 
I've been really busy at work also on top of everything else. I've been working 12 hour days, six days a week. Um, so that's another reason why I haven't had any videos come out. So really that's about all I've got for this week. Uh, I'm going to go back to uh, enjoying watching some uh, coverage on my team on the TV and finish off the rest of my beer. And until next time, remember there's always time for a glass of wine. Cheers.